Point State Park fountain is being flooded. This is crazy. Completely flooded. In the previous video, I was walking by here. I was filming these baseballs that are now submerged in water. Well, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another video on the channel from the office with no furniture or guest bedroom. I still don't know what to do with this room. We're gonna go into my bedroom here. Then we're gonna walk out on the balcony because check this out. It is a very rainy day in Pittsburgh. It's been rainy yesterday. It's been rainy the day before. And it's gonna be raining for the rest of the week, which is why, once again, look at that. Point State Park Fountain is completely, not completely flooded, but I think by tomorrow, the whole fountain part will be flooded as well. And for those who follow this channel, you know that I've filmed this once before. So this is the second time since I moved here that I've seen that this uh, Point State Park Fountain is being flooded. This is crazy. Pittsburgh is known to be kind of rainy, although, you know, summertime, we usually have really, really good weather. But you know, as they say, April showers brings May flowers, so it's a lot of rain. So a quick little update here in the living room. Um, got my little 100,000 subscriber plaque up here on the wall to kind of not have it look so plain. I got this in 2017, which is why my plaque looks so damn old. They have a different design now for 100K plaques, and I'm still waiting for that 1 million plaque. We have like 220 some thousand left, and got a little thing up on the wall here to kind of offset this big old naked wall. Uh, and this thing will actually be moving soon because I have a thing being delivered today that's going to take up the greater part of this wall. So that's a little exciting. Yeah, baby. And then as we walk over here to the balcony, I finally have some patio furniture. And I forgot to uh, take the cushions off when it started raining the other day. So they were completely soaked. Still, it's nice to be able to sit here uh, whenever the weather is nice and it's not constantly raining like it is now. Um, and sit and chill out, and drink some coffee, stare at the view. So I was just filming with this camera right here and I thought it was charged. It is charging now, but what I just noticed is that this outlet doesn't work. It's only the bottom one and the charger for the camera was plugged in there. So now I'm filming with my phone. Um, here's another cool thing that I bought years ago. I can't remember the name of the company, but it's a company in Nashville, I think, or somewhere in Tennessee. So this thing is made out of like metal and it's really cool. I used to have this in my old office. Um, so as you guys can see, it's a flag, Pledge of Allegiance. And you can't, it's, it's kind of hard to hang it on the wall because it doesn't really have a hole here at the end. So I have it just sitting here um, in my living room up against the wall. And I like that thing. So we're gonna hop in the rental. We gotta go uh, run some errands. And by the way, this should be the last day that I have the rental. Because the RS7 is supposed to be ready today. Finally, finally, it's taken over three weeks. So when I picked this rental up, it uh, had like a three quarter tank and that's the requirement for me to drop it back off. So we gotta fill it up, oh, we'll fill it up fully. But since this car takes 87 and it's got a much smaller tank, this is like a fuel efficient vehicle. I filled up the tank for $39 the second time. The first time was $42, which is absolutely insane. It's so cheap, I'm not used to that. When I fill up the S65, Obviously it takes 93 and it's got a bigger tank. It's like 90 bucks. So yeah. <laughs> All right, so full tank of gas. We got some fruit and some milk. And by the way, uh, I know I didn't start the video with doing push-ups, but I did push-ups earlier this morning. I wasn't really planning on filming today, um, but I know there's some people that really care about that. And uh, I actually tried a newer, uh, way of doing the sets today. Usually I do 40, 30, and 30 per set. So three sets. I usually rest a little longer between those sets. But today I did 20 um, and only rested for a minute, 20, rested for a minute, 20, until I got to 100. And it was harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, because, you know, I'm doing less reps per set, but the, the resting time in between was like uh, 55 seconds to a minute. And uh, it, it was pretty damn heavy. But I like it. 
All right, so we've driven down to North Shore now. Um, in my previous video where I did like a little mini tour of Pittsburgh, I walked down here and we were filming walking past the baseball stadium. Look, you can't even walk down here now. Yeah, you see where that water is? Obviously where the boat is, but that's where the water usually is. Past that boat there. <laughs> this is a walkway, it's completely flooded. That is crazy. I've never seen that before. All right, we're not allowed to walk down there, but we're gonna do it anyway. Man, that is nutty. Look at that. I mean, since it's gonna be raining more for the rest of the week, I mean, this water's probably gonna go up to at least here. Damn. This is the Allegheny River. Over there is the Monongahela River. And the one that like uh, mixes in with these two rivers over there is the Ohio River. Um, and this is absolutely nutty. I've never seen this before. <laughs> I mean, for anyone who's watching this and you're from Pittsburgh, you've probably seen this before if you've lived here for a long time. I've been here for many, many years, but haven't lived downtown for that long. So usually I'm filming from up there, but uh, yeah, this, this is crazy. So this is usually like a lookout point, as you can tell. Uh, where people just stand and hang out, look over the river and see the boats and all that. Completely flooded. Wow. wow. Sorry for the wind. Damn. So if you're coming to visit Pittsburgh this summer, we're at the North Shore. All these bars are going to be packed during the summertime. We have the Burgatory, a bunch of restaurants and stuff here. I'm probably going to get demonetized because of this music, but this is a really cool part of town. We have uh, Heinz Field over there, and over there is PNC Park of the Pirates. The Pirates are actually doing pretty good now. I think they're like 4 and 0, oh, which is unheard of. Yeah! All right, so now we're right by PNC Park, the Pittsburgh Pirates baseball stadium. And again, in the previous video, I was walking by here. I was filming these baseballs that are now submerged in water. Those are like signed baseballs for Pittsburgh Pirate Hall of Famers. And this is just crazy, man. Look at this. It's like you have a freaking beachfront. That is nutty. And also, the reason why PNC Park is voted the best park in the country or the prettiest one is because when you're sitting this is your view. You have the whole skyline. And usually it's a prettier day, obviously, not gray and boring like this. But man, look at that. We're gonna go over here to one of the bridges and look at the um, view from over there. All right, so I parked a little illegally here. I mean, I haven't paid because we're just gonna go look at the water again. And this is why you don't park illegally in Pittsburgh. <laughs> this dude is not getting anywhere. Okay, so now we're by center field. And uh, yeah. This is where you get up to the park if you're doing the North Shore walk. Obviously you can't do that anymore, as we can see from over there. Dude, look at all the debris. I mean, there's usually some debris, but that is a lot. Wow. Damn. Okay. And then many times you come around here and you can walk under here and then up there. Obviously you can't do that now. Pittsburgh is flooded. Now, if you didn't watch the previous video where I was walking past here talking about the stadium and that building right there, because that building right there was in a movie from 1994 called Out of Sight with Bruce Willis and Sarah Jessica Parker. So you got a little info about that. But yeah, let's go back up. And you wonder how long this guy's been sitting here. Look at that. Huh. All right, so we are back at the crib. And as you guys can see, the water is now taking over like the first edge of the actual fountain. So it's going to start pouring in there. And uh, by tomorrow, the fountain's probably going to be completely, you won't be able to see it. But this video is going live today. So we won't be able to see it in today's video because tomorrow I'm going out of town for a little while. Uh, but I'll, I'll get some kind of footage of it in the morning.
I've been editing, kind of unlocked, I've been editing the video up until the previous clip you guys saw, and now it has taken over the first edge. So now what's left is just for the water to completely get into the fountain, you won't be able to see it. There's people walking down there. I don't know if they're allowed to do that, but I mean, I would have done the same thing, so I'm not saying anything about that, but yeah. And I've decided to make this video go live the day after, not today, because um, I've never seen it completely flooded. I want to see if it actually does that. It probably will, because it's going to rain even more. So I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. If they call me and say the R7 is ready, we'll probably go pick it up. I don't know. I'll see you soon. Oh man, we're back in the R7. Finally, I just picked it up and I'm gonna show you guys when we get back to the crib. Car looks almost better than new. I know that it's kind of like, you know, overly dramatic and cliche to say, but it actually does. For being repainted on the passenger side, let's wait till we get home, man. God, I love this car. So look at that door. Can you even tell that it's been repainted? I'm gonna cover this more, uh, you know, on the main channel, but the car looks so good shop who worked on it did a phenomenal job so i'm just super happy to have this thing back yeah and we're uh, back at the crib again i thought i was gonna have to wait till tomorrow morning to see if this happened but it did first time ever seeing you can't even see the fountain you see the tip of it that's insane look at that man that is crazy pittsburgh is flooded indeed the most I've ever seen it, at least. It's almost going up all the way to the to the uh, bathrooms. It might be by tomorrow morning because I think it's going to rain all night. So yeah, there we have it. This video turned into uh, Pittsburgh being flooded, and the, the yeah, the interesting thing is that that it hasn't really rained for a few hours. The last time I filmed was probably four hours ago, but yeah. Crazy, crazy, but I'm happy that R7 is back. Like I said, I'm gonna, you know, cover that car in a video uh, coming up on the main channel here soon. But uh, going on a little road trip tomorrow, and then we're going to a, I think, 3,000 car car show in North Carolina, which is gonna be awesome. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.